Okay, welcome. What we're going to do is just have a look at the Achilles um, tendinopathies and, and try and differentiate between an Achilles tendinopathy and an insertional Achilles tendinopathy. They're quite different, but the symptoms are, are, are similar. So it's really important that you kind of can understand which one you're looking at so that you address it in a slightly different way. So we've got the calf muscle coming down the back here, which attaches down into your heel bone, okay? And the Achilles runs from the heel bone up through to that lower point of the muscle, okay? You've got your big gastroc muscle at the top and your deeper soleus muscle giving stability to the heel bone. So that's the sort of structures that we're looking at. Now, the Achilles tendinopathy tends to be something that you'll experience will build up over time. You might notice some aches around the Achilles and that will tend to be about an inch or so above into the Achilles tendon. The Achilles tendon feels like a thick core but it should be smooth, so you should be able to run your hand through that area, and it should feel like it's all nice and smooth through that whole point. If you notice any bumps as you're running your hands over it, that's a good indication that you've got an Achilles tendinopathy. You've had a bit of a change in the matrix of the tendon, it's broken down, and it creates what appears to be a swelling. It's not actually swelling, but it appears, appears to be a swelling. You're going to break down of the um, neurovascular tissues in that area, which is what creates, uh, we believe, a lot of the pain that you get when you get an Achilles problem. So when you get an Achilles problem, you tend to find it will be stiff first thing in the morning, but after five or ten minutes, you'll walk it off and it'll feel better. It'll feel sore or stiff when you start doing sports, running activities. Again, then you'll get to a point where it feels good. But what you'll find is after sport, you sit down, you rest, you stop moving, and it will really tighten up and stiffen up. And you're generally going to get an associated ache in that area where you've got the uh, palpable lump, if there is one. You might not have the lump, you might have the ache only. If it's a relatively new thing that you've only had pain in that Achilles area there, you might notice there's swelling either side. If you've only had that for a short period of time, under two months, you mightn't have any breakdown of the tendon yet. And that's really good news for you. If you get on and do the right exercises now, you can really solve the problem quickly and effectively. But if there is a lump there, it's gonna take a bit longer. Tendinopathies aren't things that settle down like a, a ligament sprain or a muscle strain. Um, they can take longer and you've gotta work through that process to get to the end and get the best results. So that's the Achilles tendinopathy. An insertional tendinopathy is actually lower. And so you can feel here we've got the bone and it's where we're coming in onto that insertion of the tendon onto the bone and you will feel an actual palpable tenderness. So when you press bone, if the tendon is pulling on the bone, bone changes and adapts to the stress is put through it. So it will pull on the bone and that inflames the nerve endings in the bone and that sets off your symptoms. So you'll feel as you palpate around here, right on the bone, you'll feel a tenderness and ache in there. So that can respond quite well in the initial phase to some ice just to desensitize that bone, which is important. Um, again, you'll find similar things. It'll be stiff and sore in the morning, but we'll loosen up. It'll be sore when you start playing sport, but ease off. And then when you stop at the end, um, it, it can be painful. Some of the things that you'll notice, so if you come up, so if I get Sandra here just to come right up high, if you've got an Achilles tendinopathy, you'll get that pain and you'll feel a dull ache. If it's an insertional tendinopathy, you might feel more of a sharp pain, almost like someone pulling on the bone. And it can feel really tender. So the pain when you do this simple movement can be quite different. And if you come down, and again, if I get you to just do a, a small knee bend, so just bend both your knees forwards. And if we drop your knees down deep into that sort of squat position, you're putting a lot of pressure in here. So again, you'll get a dull ache on the tendon. It'll feel like it hasn't got enough stretch. If you've got an insertional tendinopathy, you'll get a really sharp pain on the bone and you'll find you won't be able to go into it straight away because it'll pull and, and cause that acute pain that you won't want to go through. What you'll find is as you do a couple coming up and down and you slowly get it moving, it'll ease off and you'll get a little bit more movement through there. But again, pain will be really low down on the bone and quite sharp and quite tender to palpate on that point. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the difference between the two and that means we just need to 
to think about how we're going to manage settling them down because the tendon obviously needs loading but if you've got that bone irritation we've got to be really careful and do more isometric work so we're coming up so onto the toes and holding hold that position there and we're loading it but not moving through and pulling the tendon on the bone and irritating that bone uh, sensitivity that's kicked in so there's little subtle differences that we need to take into account moving forwards make sure you end up getting back to the activities you want to do thank you Thank you.